Hello, so today I'll be presenting on the understanding of psychological consequences of cyberbullying in schools enhances the well-being of adolescents in Singapore. So I will first start off with the introduction, uh, which is cyberbullying, and then the next one would be psychological consequences and the effect of cyberbullying worldwide. And the next one would be the enhancement in well-being of adolescents in Singapore. So, um, before I start on why cyberbullying actually occurs worldwide, um, the definition of cyberbullying in journal articles are the repeated use of technology to harass, humiliate or threaten other individuals online. So then, uh, why does cyberbullying occur then? Um, because there is a rise in technology over the years, and then uh, with this, right, it actually results in um, this technology, using technology would create an anonymous identity so um, nobody will know who you are if you're behind the screen so then uh, this also reduces the responsibility and accountability as compared to face-to-face -face reactions then uh, the next one would be associated to bullying in school so journal articles have found that um, if one is bullied in schools there is a high tendency that the individual or the adolescent or student will also be bullied um, online. The next one is the playing of violent video, violent games, results in more aggressive behaviors portrayed in school, because um these adolescents would want to have the same feeling. So if let's say they were to play aggressive like um, Dota or whatsoever, um they will actually incorporate this aggressiveness in real life to actually have the same thrill in the long run, and then uh, if let's say everything turns out bad, the victims. Who are bullied will turn into bullies. This may be um, due to one of the psychological consequences. They may not want to face um, these negative emotions anymore, which in return they will become the bullies not to go through the same thing they have went through before. Then uh, I'll be focusing more on the psychological consequences now. So um, cyberbullying will lead to an increase in suicide ideation social exclusion where um, individuals don't want to be um, a part of their school or a part of their group or a part of their friends anymore then uh, because this is due, may, due, may be due to low self-confidence they attain through cyberbullying and or or they may go through depression or anxiety itself then uh, all this in return will actually result in the loss of sleep appetite and concentration in school then um these emotions right, will lead to them feeling powerless, sadness, and fears. In, in, in a way that because they don't know, they, they know that they are being bullied, but they cannot do anything about it. And because cyberbullying is not a very advanced study in Singapore, so uh, adolescents tend to get bullied, but they don't want to report them. And they, they may assume that even if they report them, they cannot be caught because it's all anonymous and it's all online. Then the next one will be anger. Because um they feel powerless, they don't they dislike themselves. But like, why am I so be why why am I so easily bullied? And then uh they may go through sadness and they may go through fear. So how does this um okay so understanding the psychological consequences will actually lead to, um understanding the effects of cyberbullying in schools on these adolescents. So they may face a deterioration in attendance, drop in results. And then uh, they may go into frequent substance use where they actually find long uh, short-term cure um, to get rid of all these negative emotions or negative psychological consequences. Or they may turn into or may they, they may go into delinquent behavior, which in the long run they become bullies themselves, or uh, they may hide behind the bullies so that they won't be bullied themselves and they will be protected instead. So um, I actually found this um, model of um, theory of planned behavior applied to cyberbullying prevention program done by um, these media heroes. So they actually incorporated um, a, a model which, which states like how awareness should be brought into school. So it may be like knowledge and competencies, attitudes towards behavior, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, then um, all this will merge together and increase um, uh, enhancement in the reduction of cyberbullying. So, oh, since this is a model, right? Um, this that that actually schools that incorporate this model to test out. So, um, they actually go through um ten week session 
each uh, one week will have 90 minutes of the lesson. Or if let's say they want a fast-paced one, it'll be one day with four broken up sessions and 90 minutes each of those sessions. So it may vary according to schools and um, individuals if let's say like the one day, the teachers may take the one day course because it's more suitable for their schedule. And then uh, what this course may entail of is um, first the pros and cons of new media, which is psychoeducation. So students are first introduced to the program. What is the program offering them? in return for knowledge of cyberbullying. The next one will be on the definition and consequences of psychoeducation and psychobullying. So um, it's more like cyberbullying and students' attitudes to it are addressed. So if let's say students have any queries or any questions or any, uh, any questions basically to ask anyone, this is the best place to come to. Then um, all these are conducted by teachers first. Then the next year will be empathy training. So they actually examine different perspectives of cyberbullying. And then the next one, they get to experience cyberbullying um, um, through the different perspectives of real life while they do role play. And then the next year will be peer-to-peer -peer tutoring. So more experienced and supervised students actually teach um, their peers regarding online protective skills. What to do when you get cyberbullied. The next year will um, be the legal range of actions done. This may not be so associated with Singapore because this is an overseas study, but then Singapore may take this into consideration in the long run. And then the next one will be peer-to-parent tutoring. So um, prepared students educate their parents regarding this new media and cyberbullying and prevention, what is cyberbullying, what to look out for. The next one is the reflection psychoeducation. So the students repeat the whole content of the process so um, it actually comes into one whole cycle in which uh, I find this really useful because um, teachers first teach students, then the students teach students, in return they actually learn more and they give out more. So more student awareness are brought into the picture. Then the next one is the students will teach their parents which will in return gain more awareness on cyberbullying. This will result in them knowing the telltale signs, picking up the telltale signs to know um, whether their kids are being bullied on cyberspace and that they can come out with an intervention soon in prevent, to prevent suicide ideation from happening or any negative psychological consequences. So um, understanding all this right uh, and coming up with a treatment or a model will actually, um, will actually lead to um, increase in the effects of positive emotions like positive psychological consequences because you have support and then uh, it will lead to um, deterioration in effects of cyberbullying in schools. So in, in return, um, they may have an improvement in school attendance and then they may have an improvement in results. They, they, they won't ever go in um, substance abuse again to get rid of the negative emotions because there is no need to. And they may not choose to go into delinquency. So in return, um, they actually have more positive feelings um, and then they have more parental support and then the parents have more awareness, the teachers have more awareness on cyberbullying in schools. So this is why um, I believe that understanding the psychological consequences of cyberbullying, mainly in schools, will actually enhance the well-being of adolescents in Singapore in the long run. Thank you for watching my presentation.